Hi guys, so I wanted to do a brief video uh, to show you a little bit more about our new MXC and also give you a brief installation guide. So we've designed this seat for a few reasons. One is that a lot of Suron riders want extra height and this seat adds around an inch and a half height at the midsection which is um, it's quite beneficial if you're a taller rider. Even if you're a shorter rider, it actually makes this, the distance between your foot pegs and the seat more comfortable. The second reason is, on an MX bike, you basically need to get forward for better cornering. So the Suron doesn't allow you to do that. Uh, the seating position is quite rearward, and it does tend to make the front wheel want to wash out more. So you do need to move further forward, and hence we've designed an MX style seat. And that's why an MX bike does have this extended seat. The MX rider will ride very high on the seat or very forward on the seat to get as much weight over the, the front wheel as possible to give it maximum traction. So let's walk through a few things about the seat. Obviously they're available in a few different colors here and we've got more colors coming online. We've got orange and black as well coming up soon and uh, all black will be coming very soon as well. So with the seat, you get a little kit, an installation kit. Let's walk through that briefly. So you'll need a few tools. You'll need um, a 5mm, a 4mm Allen key, 10mm spanner. You'll need a drill with a 3mm and an 8mm. Uh, on the instructions, there's imperial, imperial measurements for the drills as well, just to match those up and a little chisel or a pallet knife to remove the pins. So let's, let's have a look at how we fit this seat. So first things first, we're going to remove the battery. Very important to remove the battery because we're going to drill a small hole. So we'll open this up. So in here you have a template, you have a rubber bumper, spare strap, two screws for the rear guard, and a main attachment screw for the seat. So firstly, we're going to drill a small hole using this template. So what we do is we put the, uh, get the battery out, we put the template in the battery window, and we slide it right up to the end, so it's nice and snug and firm. Pilot hole, change that to the larger drill, remove the template, and drill your second hole. Now, to remove the seat, there are six little pins that we're going to take out. Now there's a Part A and a Part B. We want to remove the centre pin by using a sharp tool just to flick that under and flick it out. And there'll be six of them along here. So we'll take one, two, three, one, two, three each side, remove the centre pin first, and then you can pop the inside pin out easily. Don't try and remove the whole thing in one hit, it's quite hard for the inside not to come out. So once you've got that out, <coughs> this section actually just folds down. Don't take the front ones out, you don't need to, just make it a pilot. Once you take that down, you're able to access the seat with your 10mm spanner. You can get into the front, you can get into the back, there's a wall. Take that off. And with your normal guard on here, you'll be able to press this tab down and your guard should slide forward and come off. Now we're going to use these nylock nuts and these washers to reattach the rear guard in combination with these two screws. So you use these two screws, nylock, nylock, and a washer, washer. You can put this, uh, the guard on now. I've got a, one of our long guards on there. Don't tighten it up yet, because you may want to slide it forward and back to line up with your seat. So the next thing you're going to do is attach your seat. Quite an easy process. Open your battery cover. Seat on it, line up the hole, use your Allen head, Allen key, 
Black Mill. Turn over tighten it. Tight enough so it's not going to fall out, obviously. Now we've put a felt backing in there just to protect your battery cover. So you shouldn't get any marks. Now the next crucial thing is this e-rubber. So this rubber is designed to fit over this rail where the front bolts of the jeep go. So slide it through the board and you must have this included. This should not stop the jeep seat from doing a lot of pressure. So the seat just goes down, battery cover locks, tab through, pull firmly, and the seat is now nice and firm. So to remove it, Ride height, improved cornering ability, all in one go. Now, a couple of caveats. Uh, a lot of people are finding out of modifying their battery covers. They're putting large batteries in, which um, lift the battery cover. Uh, um, I mean, I've got batteries that are 50 ampere hour and still fit in, so I don't know what the situation is there. But they don't work with our seat, unfortunately. The angles come up too high and nothing lines up. Uh, the second caveat is if you've got a seat extender on here, it's not going to work um, with this seat because of again the angles all changing. So obviously you're putting seat extenders on to get your height, but in fact what you're doing is you're putting your seat further back. And if your seat is further back then your cornering is going to be worse. Sure it's going to feel more comfortable. But if you compare it to this seat, you get the extra height and the ability to move forward. Um, I think you'll, once you try it, you'll find out why this is a better option. So I hope this has been of uh, use to you. Um, please send any comments or any questions through. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and if you've got any suggestions. Uh, for example, there has been some comments which we'll work on. The ability to have a small toolkit underneath the seat so when you lift it up there's a toolkit for you so that's something we're working on you know comments like that are gold they really help us because our goal is really just to improve the the Suron um, we're, we're, you know any way we can do that we're willing to look at and put some time and investment into it so that you know we've all got a better buy so I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, again please leave your comments and uh, look forward to uh, doing another video for you shortly